machines and tools. They help us to do work. But do you know that many of these are pressure machines which use either the hydraulic system or the pneumatic system? Let's first look at the hydraulic system. But in order to understand what a hydraulic system is and how it works, we have to know two facts. The first fact is that when a liquid is enclosed in a space and a pressure is applied to the liquid, this pressure is transmitted equally to all parts of the liquid. This principle is illustrated using this pressure syringe. When the piston is pushed down, water squirts out uniformly in all directions from the holes of the flask. The second fact is that it is hard to compress a liquid. If you try to squash a volume of liquid, you still have that same volume however hard you try to compress it. A hydraulic system is one that uses the pressure of a liquid to perform mechanical work. Let's look at this device. Two syringes, A and B, of equal size, are connected by rubber tubing. If pressure is exerted at syringe A, the same pressure will be transmitted over to syringe B. We also observe that the water from syringe A will move to syringe B as shown by the upward movement of the piston in syringe B. This demonstrates the two facts which we have just discussed. That is, firstly, when a liquid is enclosed in a space and a pressure is applied to the liquid, this pressure is transmitted equally to all parts of the liquid. And secondly, liquid cannot be compressed. The hydraulic system makes use of these two facts. It can be shown mathematically that if we make one of the two pistons much larger than the other, then the larger piston can raise a larger load. <coughs> The hydraulic system can therefore be considered as a force multiplier. Do you also notice that the small piston has to move a larger distance than the large piston? In most cases, oil is used as the hydraulic liquid as it can lubricate the moving parts of the machine as well. The hydraulic principle is used in many devices like the hydraulic jack used for lifting cars at the service station. Notice that the serviceman has to exert a force on the piston many times before the car is raised by a small amount. Thanks to the hydraulic jack, lifting a car for servicing is no longer a problem. One of the most important components of a car is the brake system. But do you know that the brake system of a car also works on hydraulics? Let's take a closer look at the brake system of a car. When the driver presses on the brake pedal, the oil in the brake system transmits this pressure and moves these pistons. This will cause the brake pads to press against the rotating disc of the wheel. Hydraulics is also used in many heavy machinery in the construction industry, like this loader. Can you see the moving pistons in action? Machines using the hydraulic system are capable of moving very heavy loads. This is a dumper. It also works on hydraulics.
The excavator is another hydraulic machine commonly found at construction sites. The hydraulic system will cause pistons to move a part of the machine back and forth. Imagine what it would be like if all this work had to be done without the help of these hydraulic machines. An accident? Thank goodness it's only a practice for the civil defense officers. They're trying to rescue a